to a portion. If two ratios are equal, then they are said to be in proportion. Four numbers in proportion. Suppose we are having we are having numbers A, B, C and D. If they are in proportion then A is to B is equal to C is to D or we can say A upon B is equal to C upon D. Or we can say simply A into D is equal to B into C. By cross multiplying them, that is product of extreme is equal to product of mean. Determine if the following numbers are in proportion or not. For proportion, product of extremes should be equal to the product of means. So here, extreme terms are 4 and 12. 4 into 12 should be equal to 6 into 8. This is 48. And this is also 48. So hence, they are in proportion. If these numbers are in proportion, then product of extremes should be equal to the product of mean. So let us check it. The extreme terms are this into 96 should be equal to 121 into 9. 3168 1089. Since they both are not equal, here product of Exchange is not equal to product of mean. So they are not in proportion. Verify 60 is to 105 is equal to 84 is to 147. If they are in 
proportion then 60 upon 105 should be equal to 84 upon 147 when we cross multiply we got 60 multiplied by 147 is equal to 105 multiplied by 84 this is 8820 and this is also 8820 so hence they are in proportion find the value of x in each of the following proportion this can be written as 55 upon 11 is equal to x upon 6 this becomes 5 5 upon 1 is equal to x upon 6 so we can say the value of x is 5 multiplied by 6 it is 30. determine if the following ratio forms a proportion first one 25 centimeter is to 1 meter and we have to compare with rupees 40 is to rupees 160 25 centimeter is to 1 meter since 1 meter is equal to 100 centimeter so it can be written as 25 centimeter as come 100 centimeter ratio to it so this become 25 centimeter divided by 100 centimeter it becomes 1 upon 4 when we compare this rupees 40 is to rupees 160 so it is simply ratio of rupees 40 and ratio of rupees 160 it becomes 1 upon 4 since the both values are same here it is 1 upon 4 and this is also 1 upon 4 so they are in proportion in a proportion the first second and fourth terms are 51 68 and 108 respectively find the third term let the third term be x so it can be written as 51 is to 68 is equal to x is to 108 this can be written as 51 upon 68 is equal to x upon 108 so x becomes 51 multiplied by 108 divided by 68 So it becomes fifty four, then seventeen two ja thirty four, seventeen three ja fifty one, twenty seven, three multiplied by twenty seven, it is eighty one answer. Show that the following numbers are in continuous proportion. If three numbers A, B, C are in continuous proportion, then B square 
is equal to a multiplied by c. So here sixty so square should be equal to forty eight multiplied by seventy five. This is thirty six hundred, and this is also thirty six hundred. So hence they are hence they are in continuum proportion. If nine x x forty nine are in proportion, find the value of x. It can be written as nine upon x is equal to x upon forty nine. So we can write nine into forty nine is equal to x into x. So you press x is equal to under root of 441, which is 21. This is the answer.